Do you think I need to go and paint that yellow BR, bro? I know, okay, yeah, yeah, all right, I'll do that, man. <laughs> I'll and do you it. You've got to do it, and you can look, put down your head, your neck, stretch your neck, your spine even more. Bro, but man. the lower back, like, it hurts when you do it, when you start doing it. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, we've started the recording now. Hopefully you can hear me. Wait, can I hear myself? Hold on. Um, See, I've got Latina in the background causing loads of mischief. Yeah, 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 yeah. Que paso? One, two, yo, yo, yo. All right, sweet. Uh, cinco minutes. So Theme was trying to fucking show me about back Hey, <laughs> We're recording now. We're recording now. You're on the podcast. I've been getting Yeah, yeah, yeah. Que paso es? I fucked. She's definitely on the podcast. I fucked. She's definitely on it. Yeah, yeah. I fucked my back up, man. Sciatica, lower back pain, shooting down my nerve. You know what I mean? On the right what side. What do you mean sciatica? Leg. You got sciatica? Did they? Someone told you it's sciatica? Well, yeah. I've had it. This is my third time now. It's for the past few years. First time it happened, I went chiropractor. I went doctor. I went everywhere, man. What? Um, I didn't yeah. know this shit. Yeah, man. I, I, like the first time I popped it, I was at work and I was carrying something heavy and I twisted <laughs> and it fucked me. Yeah. Second time it happened, I just tying my shoelace, bending down to my, uh, tie my shoelace. <laughs> and yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I was taking a shit, man. And I stood up from taking a shit and it fucked me up. I'm not even kidding. I've been immobile for 24 hours. Wait, 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 wait. You'd finish the shit? Yeah. Or you were mid shit? No, no, I finished no, the shit. you said standing up. No, I went to the B day and standing up from uh, the B day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck me up. I got a hairy Arab ass, man. I, I need a B day to make sure that shit's clean. Yeah. <laughs> Too if much you information. You think you lot are wiping your bums clean, yeah, nah. with uh, normal, normal tissue paper, man. Mm. You got to get the, the, the one in between the normal bog roll. And the bidet is the wet tissue paper. Yeah, exactly. Because you think you cleaned your barty, yeah, with the mm -hmm. normal bog roll. Yeah. You were wiping and the bog roll is clean as a whistle. Uh-huh. Then you slick one of those uh, wet ones behind your, behind, in between uh, your cheeks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forget about it, bruv. You won't clean, bruv. I got to have wet wipes on me, man, especially when I'm trying to... You're about 60% clean, bruv. The flushable <laughs> bog roll wet ones. Ridiculous. Exactly. And then up from there is the uh, bidet. Theme, I'm sorry. I know I told you the mic was cool, but it looks like you're mad peaking now. Is there any way you can just turn it down slightly? I know you haven't raised your voice, but I think the mic, if you can bring it down just a little bit. Sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I know. But yo, we are Arms House to your mom's house. Episode 69. <laughs> Um, Wait, who's that? Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted, man. I love that movie, man. From the first one. 69, dudes! Uh, but yo, man, fucking hell. Yeah, I've, other than throwing my back out yesterday, man, I had an uh, eventful weekend last week. And it's Tuesday, 12th of March today. But last weekend, um, you know, and my man Mutlug was still in town, you know what I'm saying? So we went out Big and about. Mutlug. Big up Mutlug. Um, where did we go Saturday? We ended up like out there and then we ended up linking my, my bro to a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And then it got to about two in the morning and then Mutlag was like, I wasn't, I wasn't properly, uh, tell me again, where were you? We were out and about. I can't even remember where we fucking went out. What do you mean you can't even, you can't say I can't even remember. The listeners, we need to picture. It's true. Where the fuck did I go? How can I forget what I did like two days ago. I know. Come on, bro. Don't do a theme. You're doing a theme. You're playing it in a theme. Oh, yeah. I can't I'm blanking out. Was. You were burning cigarettes there. Oh, that's where we went. <laughs> I went to, we went to the hip hop chip shop. I wasn't listening to you. I was trying to remember where I was, bro. Okay? I just said you were burning browns there. You're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wasn't listening to you. Uh, fucking. We went to the hip hop chip shop in Brixton because March, Brixton. March 9th, who died on March 9th? Uh, Themos. Your mate. The greatest rapper died on March 9th. Uh, Biggie Smalls, yeah? yeah. Um, so I they did not Biggie Smalls. 
do you mean? Who doesn't like Biggie Smalls? I fucking Loads love him. I prefer him over Tupac, but let's not go into that discussion. Oh, uh, <laughs> loads of people. But Jim Sharp, big up Jim Sharp. He was there. Oh, yeah, we linked up with all the low lives. Big up Suicide Skier, big up uh, Plug, big up Cope was there. Uh, a whole bunch of people were there. It was a good hangout. We had some pints in the pub up the road. Then we went to Hip Hop Chip Shop. I saw Oliver, Oliver Sudden. Salute, Ollie. We're going to do an episode at his shop still, man. I was fucking hell. Was was long... Nah, he was just there passing through. Uh, but Jim Sharp was playing sick DJ, incredible, playing all sorts of cool shit. Um, and then we left there, linked my brother in Clapham uh, in some crazy like uh, throwback place where they had all old school arcades and shit. It was quite cool. Talal's getting really Clapham now. Really yeah, claps. he is a bit. <laughs> he is a bit. bit. Claps. Clapham Common, yeah. We love the ruggers. He's part of the gentrification there, you know what I mean? But um, nah, but uh, fucking, what was I going to say? Yeah, then Mutlug, because I was with Mutlug. Uh, did anyone work out who Mutlug is, man? Uh, don't be bait. Now, he said, yo, uh, Thor and uh, Drax and fucking a whole bunch of heads are at Teacher's house because it was someone's birthday. I can't remember who's, I think maybe Teacher's birthday. <laughs> I don't even remember. <laughs> So we all moseyed on down there. We bought a couple of bottles of rum, turned up at like 3.30 in the morning. It was, uh, and most of the people had left. So it was just a small crew. 3.30 in the, in the morning. Bro. Something like that. And um, that's when yeah. you turned up. But Store was there. I love Store, man. He's such yeah, a cool, man. like good, good energy guy, man. And Teach, obviously, you know, legend and Thor, salute Thor and Drax and... I'm sure they won't mind me saying this. I mean, I'm not saying anything, babe. We were just around there drinking and catching jokes, man, telling stories and having fun, man. Who else was there? Did I miss anyone? Fatso, I think, was there and um, a couple other heads, man. But we missed most of the people. We turned up mad late. Yeah, you turned up at 3.30. Who's turning up at 3.30? What are you I trying to do? I don't know. What are you trying to prove? Are you trying to be 21 years old or are you trying to say, like, listen, I'm such a serious raver, man, I turned yeah. up at half three, bro. Bro, we stayed there till five, five thirty, and um. Get the pickle out, bro. But what was I gonna say? Fucking, uh, I forgot to mention that you I got paid... put in DDS. You nah. got put <laughs> I'm in basically, DDS. I'm basically in DDS now. No, no, yeah, basically, no, no, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, um, the green sofa. That's yeah the exactly. But now, nah, fucking, I forgot to mention before we went to Hip Hop Chip Shop, I went to the Stockwell Skate Park. Hadn't been there. I've never been there before. It's only around the corner from Brixton Station. I've been, there, yeah. I've been past it on the bus. I've driven past it in the car, but I've never actually gone down there. It's, you know, obviously it's a skate park for people that don't know where people can graph and stuff. Skateboard you know? and a rollerblade, actually. Yeah. So I, I had a bit of paint with me because I did a I did a quick little dub in there. Uh, nothing special. And um, so then when I was leaving Teacher's House, I basically walked home. Yeah, and I just bear bombing all the way i was just drunk yeah. as you could imagine yeah, i was drunk as fuck but i was i was doing mosquito bombing do you know what that means you, you know what i mean by that it's brazil it's brazil it's brazil, brazil. it's brazil <laughs> now nah, so i wasn't like fat cat bombing all the way down the high street like that yeah like you were mean, doing that fucking nozzle that you've got the go that you yeah, get the and it goes in that yeah. direction <laughs> the needle you love that shit. Uh, but, but i was trying to get tags in places that would stay you know what I mean? For a while. I, I'm i always, you know... Didn't put me up once. I Did might have put you up. I might have put you up. It's a thumbs down. I, it's <laughs> down. It's not a thumbs down. I can't remember if I put you up. I, I, but the old... No, but that was the thing. That This was the... This is the... <laughs> this is the cool bit. When I left teacher's house, I had to come back because my phone, I put it on charge and I left my phone. So I had to go back and I, I knocked on the door. I was like, oh, my phone. And he, and he heard the jingling of all the paint in the bag. And I was like, as a joke, I said, ah, I'm going to do some bombing on the way home, yeah? And I go, but I'm not going to do it around here, obviously, around your house. And he was like, whatever. He's like, it's cool, man. He goes, put me up, put me up. And I was like, easy. So I, so I put up teach. I didn't put you up, but I put up teach. <laughs> <laughs> so all those driving up and down you're the Uxford totally Road. You're going to be in DDS, bro. <laughs> you're going to be in DDS for about one week. I'm not in DDS. That's the first step towards it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you remember I'm just it? fucking around, man. I, 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 we've had this discussion anyway. I wouldn't even put up DDS, even if they did, because it's, it's, it's. I'm not in that crew, you know. If you're not in in a crew, then you know it's not about uh, clout chasing and all that shit, man. You know. So I'm only fucking around. Sixty nine, dudes. 
you, <laughs> you had a tune you wanted to listen to. Shall we? Shall we get that uh, roll in? Yeah, get that on, bro. Get that on. All right. Do you want Omni a, Trio? No. Omni Trio, but the Foul Play remix. Remix, of bro. The There's a. Uh, I was watching a documentary of fucking Canadian mainstream news. Yeah. Oh yeah. In like ninety six or ninety five, maybe even a little bit earlier, and it was Stevie Hyper D, Nicky Black Market, and some other guy. Killer. Flown to Canada, bringing bringing jungle over there. Ah, uh, my man, my man Riddler went to Canada Bear Times with uh, Nicky Black Market. They used to go Canada yeah. and he used to come back. This is in the late nineties, and he used to tell me they're nuts over there about drum and bass. And I was like, Is it? They do like it Canada? over there, don't they? Yeah, Canada. But in the United States, for a long time, they didn't know about it. But in Canada. Mm. In Canada, they take a lot of, they like link a lot of our music. Yeah, and they have the Queen on their money. That's why, man. Because they got they're, this, like, they're not uh, listen to like drill, like UK drill, UK road rap, UK and hip hop, UK maybe hip-hop. grime and shit. UK hip hop like way more than Americans do. Who's that fucking you know, as guy? A, as a population one per thousand or whatever. Who's that Canadian dad who's on like YouTube or on Instagram? Canadian dad. He loves hip hop. UK hip dad, and he just reviews UK hip hop. Oh yeah, well, no Canadian, no Canadian dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm just sorry. I just remembered that guy. He's Canadian, and he got scones and manage. Some of them lot have had their shit. Oh, he's done. He's, he's been going around for 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 years, man. I mean, I, I don't know why. I mean, he, yeah, whatever. I know, I'm shit, man, I feel like a cheap scones has got a new tune now. Oh, shit. We should have, we should have fucking chosen that. I'll tell you what, I'll put it in the edit here. Put Let's it in the bit. edit. Yo, listen. Mumsy said that looks only last for so long, you better get smart. Use your brain, only way in life to get a head start. And set the benchmark, and learn to think in your feet. Cause your mind can take you places that your legs can't. And choose wisely who your friends are. Cause those that made a poor choice were the ones that never went far. Grew up in pens right across the road from Bed's Park. Wasn't a place where you'd want to go and trespass. Was just a little... Now we're back. <laughs> Big up skirmish. Salute. Go support, man. Big up skirmish. But no, but for now, Omni Trio, Renegade Snares, foul play. Yeah, so they were in there fucking oh. doing their jungle thing, and this bird is such a proper reporter going, oh, yeah, so hello. Like, what, you know, what, what, what makes, what is drum and bass? You know, mm. what is jungle? Yeah. And they're like, yeah, what the fuck? They're playing, playing live on, to like a crowd. Oh, sick. Nicky Black Market and this other DJ playing tunes and that. And Stevie Hype is just standing there like an MC does, just standing there. So he's getting all the questions. Like, rah, rah, and, and he's like... We have DVFD, Nicky Black Market, and we have Stevie Hyper. Hello and welcome. Hello. How do? How are you doing out there? <laughs> now, you know, you know that this show is national across Canada. You guys were told that? Yeah, yeah, we know that. And uh, Jungle is a fairly new thing coming into Canada, coming into Toronto. It's been out there for a long time. So you'd be very well qualified to tell us, what is Jungle? Well, Jungle is like music, all different parts of music, samples from other tracks, and then it's mixed in together, mainly hip-hop breakbeats and ragga samples, chats and bass lines. And then it made up into a track, and then everybody just gets hyped, you know what I mean? That's more or less the flavour of Jungle. It's a London something though, it comes from London. I bet you Riddler was there. It's made out of this, made out of that. I bet yeah, you Riddler was it there. It was early doors though, it was early doors, bruv. It was yeah. like, it was, I don't know if it was 96, 90, it might have been before that. Yeah, but, oh, okay, well maybe. But Nicky Black Market looked young, bruv. Oh. <laughs> Nikki is such uh, a they were playing this tune in the background. I was like, yo, I remember this tune, bro. And it might be hard for the arms house. We don't want to play the intro. Basically, I was only getting at that that bit, like with the bells, bells or whatever they are. Yeah, yeah. Wait, let me tell you a quick thing about Nikki Black Market. I, I booked him for the warehouse party once. Yeah, so he came down, proper safe guy. Obviously, I booked him through Riddler. So, you know, he hooked me up. He came through. He All he said, he goes, you know what his rider was? <laughs> he said, look, make sure I got a cup of tea. Yeah, that's all he wanted because he drives in it so he's not drinking and he had like about seven different oh, other gigs that night tea. and he was like just make sure there's a cup of tea but the fucked up thing is we're in a warehouse yeah so that they were hard... tea. <laughs> well we had to bring my kettle from home because there's no fucking <laughs> kettles in there <laughs> i don't think that i had to buy a bottle of water as well like you know to make sure he had this nice cup of tea before he got there um 
So that was cool. But then then I get a message from him every New Year's on like January, beginning, first week of January, I get a message from him. I think it's a big message he sends to everyone saying, yo, I'm available for bookings. Like, you know, he's on it, man, still. I love that mm. guy. He's mm. self-promotion. He's not like too big for his boots or anything. He's just- Black a- market <laughs> records. Just a cool motherfucker. But anyway, we're not talking about, we're not going into a Nicky Black market. He played this tune a lot though, that's for sure. Omni Trio, let's go. <laughs> This is a classic of all classics. I'm not sure if it's the right mix. It is, it is. Wait for it. And then I'm, I'm already thinking it's because there's two different units with the same name. I don't know why that's ah. This is the bit though, yeah. Lighter crow. <laughs> This was I don't the think bit. This is the mix. Yeah, but this is the ah. bit. Such a good tune to mix into another tune. Exactly what I was thinking. It, man. Well, you know when it mixes and then you're like, oh yeah, the next one's a bad one. Yeah, bang. yeah, yeah. Oh man, my back is fucked. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know if this is the mix. But no, anyway, there's not, loads of good mix. mixes. There's probably. Yeah, like, I don't think that's the mix that I sent you, bro. It was way more jungle than that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well. But, uh, okay. And the what? Big up, uh, Jason Status for winning. Whoa. Fucking Brit. They won a Brit. That was it. Yeah, the man. Best producers. And that basically means that I've won a Brit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Basically, <laughs> theme, they should slice you half of that brick. should yeah. come to your Half house. of that brick. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> Talk to them on road. Like, pass me half a brick, yeah? <laughs> half a little brick award, yeah? Mad congratulations to them. They deserved it. I didn't watch the Brits, but but uh, obviously I saw the clip that they posted. And, yo, man, much. They, they I mean, they deserved it, man, fully, man. The summer was their summer, man. That was a chase and status it summer, man. Be, yeah, there was some girl who won fucking like five or six awards, and I never heard of her. I mean, so I didn't watch the Brits. Until I like... saw who got that. Yo, I got a story about the Brits. I was there because I worked for in an events Brazil. company. In Brazil. Nah, well, how can I do the Brits in Brazil? In the Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> the Brazils. <laughs> nah, nah. The Brazils. Fuck... <laughs> the Brazils. Nah, I fucking, because I worked for an events company, so we were doing a section there for VO5. It was like that was the brand that was sponsoring the event. So we were doing a thing for VO5 hair thing or whatever. Um, so, any, but that was the Brits where Kanye West was there with all those grime dudes on stage, and he had the fire. And then it was the same one, Madonna. I watched it with my own eyes. Madonna when she took a massive drop coming down the stairs, oh, and the cape, the cape didn't untie, and she took a fat drop, and everyone in the place was like, "Whoa!" That was like crazy. This seventy-year-old woman's yeah. just dropped. On- <laughs> Oh, we were all like backstage going, yo, that fucking, that whoever her, her costume artist is, is getting fired, boy. Because <laughs> it's literally like a clip that just didn't go undone and it just yanked her backwards. You man. were there, bro. That was hilarious. You were there. Man. Imagine being Madonna. I'm just going to get a bit <laughs> Imagine being Madonna. No, imagine being Madonna, bro. When Madonna <laughs> came out, yeah. Yeah. But she, and for like a long time, she was like one of the hottest things on earth. Can you come to the microphone, please, brother? Why do you keep walking around your house? Sit down, man. Because I told you, I told you. You never listen. I said, I'm getting a beer, I'm getting a beer. This is an oral experience for people, man. <laughs> an hour. I love oral. a good oral experience. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic choice now, of words there. My, my dad loved Madonna, man. He, he fucking thought she was so sexy. I, and that's another one. Like Janet Jackson, like I said last week, man. Uh, Madonna, I, I never... I was thinking about that a lot. Bun Janet Jackson. Yeah, and, and Madonna. I didn't think she was even that. When she was young... Okay, Okay, there was something sexy about her, but, but I Janet wasn't into Jackson, it. if you liked her, you were basically into my uh, blokes. <laughs> yeah, into yeah. Michael. Straight up and down, <laughs> man. Right. Mike looked, looked exactly the same. <laughs> there was a period when they looked exactly the same. Damn, man. When both of their plastic surgeries were just at this level where they looked like <laughs> fucking twins. And then it only lasted a short while, and then it went Bruh, different Have you seen what Madonna looks like now, man? That's Jeez. what I'm saying, bro. You imagine being Madonna. She looks like, wait, 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 I heard someone describe her. She looks like a bulldog chewing a wasp. Yeah. <laughs> I always thought that was hilarious. 
Um, There's some famous book, Rob, that when Madonna came out. Yeah, Sex. It was called Sex. I think I got it somewhere. Yeah. And it was like Bard or something like that because it was too... Yeah. And that was... I don't know when that must have been like early... It was in the Very 90s. Early 80s it was, or... Nah, was it was it? in the 90s. Yeah, it wasn't. She was already like. Bump, nah, may, yeah, nah, maybe it was late 80s because you know I what? It was before, like, the beginning of her shit. It wouldn't have been right. Yeah, it, wasn't, it, is, it wasn't during, it wasn't during the holiday. Holiday. It wasn't during that bit. It was <laughs> after that bit because she was still in a pop princess. <laughs> this was when she became sexy. This is when uh, like a virgin and all that shit came out. But yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When but, but, all that shit came out. Yeah. And you, you're known for all that kind of shit. And you're a bird. Yeah, it was revolutionary. There's a lot of pressure on you to look. A lot of pressure on you to look hot. Like blokes, you can just grow grow old and not give a shit, bro. You can have like stains on your shirt. You can have like the same trousers for every single day. Doesn't matter. Go outside in your slippers and shit. Doesn't matter. I mean, birds who have yeah. always tried to sell their looks and just the, one of the main things going for them is how fucking sexy and hot they are and shit like that. It was definitely they get a lot old more. Like that. Yeah, she's just thinking what because because hey, look at your back, like age, bruv. <laughs> there is nothing. It is the worst thing about all of all things. There's mm. nothing worse, nothing more unforgiving. Yeah, nothing unforgiving. Nothing more that's only downhill. Yeah, than getting eight than getting old. Well, the only the, thing you can do is fight it to the best of your ability. And if you got nah, the dough, you end up looking like that. Now nah, I don't like it when people fight it to the best of their ability. You can grow. No, I do. Old, if you do, you like go grow... to the gym and yeah. take care of yourself and rah, rah, rah. that's fighting age to the yeah. best of your ability. No, you growing a uh, aging gracefully is what they say because you're not fighting against it. You're growing gracefully with it, man. Like they're, they're, I'm trying to think. I'm going to fight against it. I'm going to fight against it. Meryl Streep, for example, she's still gorgeous, man. You know what I mean? In her old age, she's not done too much. I'm sure she's done plenty of work, but like she's not done too much. You know what I mean? She doesn't look weird you know what i'm saying uh, no, like yeah, the neck is always look. the giveaway the neck and the hands man but, <laughs> like some little goosey turkey neck but also no nah, but wobbly. listen Flatty. i don't want because we've got lots of female listeners man i want to big up the we're, female we're talking listeners. about getting old i'm talking about getting yeah. old as whoever you are i'm saying you're all beautiful on the inside man <laughs> Fuck you, you're all butters brother you're all butters <laughs> that's dark but, That's uh, a great clip, by the way. You're all beautiful, man. You're all yeah. bad. <laughs> now, what was I going to say? So, what you were you watched the age? Oh, yeah. So, on yeah? your dirty little weekend, oh. going yeah. to teachers yeah. at three and up, thirty in the morning, getting yeah. one foot in the DDS door. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I was at home on the sofa, bruv. Mm. Oh, bruv, I went. I went. Took the missus to some bar in Soho. Yeah. Uh, six drinks is 120 pounds. Fuck me. I yeah. wasn't even looking there because I had a well comfy seat. Mm, that's dangerous. You never man. get a comfy seat. I left on Friday after work when it was ramp, <clears throat> but it's like this quite nice bar. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You can't even really see that it's a bar. It looks like a part of the building. Anyway, go in there. And because we got good seats in the corner, I was able to cotch properly because I've come from after work. Mm hmm. And she's just chatting kayate, 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 and I'm listening going, yeah, kayate, kayate, kayate. And just ordering a, six drinks. I didn't think it would be like, do you know what I mean? I'm like, fucking hell. One of them, two of them were beers. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, 126 pounds. It's crazy, man. Yeah. Nuts. <laughs> Came back, yeah, got on the sofa, and for, just typed in AJ Anthony Joshua versus Ngano, watch free. Ah, okay. The first link I clicked on, this never happens. So mm. the first link clicked on that. The first link on the web page, whatever page it was, like sports, blah, 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 blah. Clicked on that, it came up. I was Sick. like, yeah, <laughs> I'm watching this, bro. 100%. And it was in English? It wasn't like some, like, you know, like... I was there, it was the Dazan, Dazan feed. Okay, Dazan yeah. was like one of the channels, like the boxing channel. Okay. Completely in English. But it doesn't matter if it was in Arabic. Fluent yeah, in Arabic. Bro. Exactly. It was in Riyadh, wasn't it? It was in Saudi Arabia. They got lots it of... It was in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. yeah. And maybe you don't know too much about this guy in Ghana. Yeah? AJ is two-time world heavyweight champion of the boxing. Wait, hold on. Is this Joe Rogan podcast? Sorry, man. I didn't realize this was Joe Rogan. Yeah, Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Podcast. I know about AJ. I don't like him that much. He won't fight Tyson Fury, so he's a pussy, in my opinion. So, so I don't, in I don't Ganu, know shit. Yeah, in Ganu, he's first ever boxing fight, mm. ever professional boxing fight, yeah. was against Tyson Fury. Oh, yeah. And, and he beat him, innit? Didn't he? 
I reckon he beat him. Lots of people reckon he beat him. Oh, he didn't. And he beat him. he oh, lost right. on points, but oh. he knocked him down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw. He I saw clip. Fury down. Damn. This guy in Ganu, yeah. I put one pound sixty-five bet on him. He's a hench motherfucker. Oh, is it? One pound sixty-five. Yeah. I looked into my Betfair account. I was like, right, there's one pound six. Let me put it on in Ganus, yeah. Because I'm thinking, who the fuck? Like, who the live? And I tell you about the story of this geezer, yeah. Mm. Who? Well, I'm just like, how does this guy lose? This guy has never. This guy's lost like through life, and now he's, there's, there's no like being scared of the fight. Plus, he's the heavyweight champion in the UFC. Mm. These geezers are like licking you to the face with elbows and knee to your face, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like full on, tiger, brocking people up, bro. Yeah, yeah, you'd crush our skulls. He yeah. he's the heavyweight champ. Yeah, he but for UFC, it's gated it. Bro, ever since ever since McGregor fought May Mayflower, what's his name? May, May, <laughs> Mayfair. What was his name? Mayweather. Mayweather. Yeah. Since he see guys, just you know how much I know. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. Mayflower. Yeah, the Mayflower. Isn't that the boat that came over to America? The first boat that with the immigrants. Anyway. In the Mayflower. But um, ever since that fight, I stayed up till late to watch that. The hype behind that. But then you know, obviously, in a UFC fight, McGregor would absolutely wipe the floor with Mayflower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the first round. Yeah, it, in, within the first ten seconds, he would have cracked, <laughs> cut, cut his arm in half. Done, fight over. You know what I'm saying? So quickly, but in a boxing match, you saw Mayfair schooled him up. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> and everyone was just, and everyone was just, uh, everyone was just banking on him just getting one clean hit. If he hits him once, it's all over. He hits him once, but like Mayweather, his whole thing is about defense, man. It was never gonna fucking happen. Yeah. So that's why when I heard about this fight with him and he's a UFC champion or whatever, it doesn't impress me, man. It doesn't impress me much. But everyone, you're just saying, you know, if, if only he gets that one clean hit. Yeah. And Ganu got that hit on Tyson Fury and knocked him down. Yeah, you know I, mean? I guess. But it's not like someone's coming from something that you, there's like not really combat, like the stand-up combat in the UFC. Mm, mm, mm. Goes yeah, to four a lot because of jiu-jitsu, but it's stand-up. Yeah. And but... you have to protect from much harsher licks. And you have to train for like you know more intense kind of five five minute rounds and shit like that. But I heard as well because they wear they don't wear those big gloves in UFC. Because okay, you'd think oh they they're not wearing gloves so they must hit harder it must hurt more. But apparently because boxers have big gloves on, it's a bigger surface they, area. They swing yeah, harder as well because they're not going to damage their fingers. You know what I mean? Their their fist or whatever. I, anyway, I remember hearing about that somewhere. Probably in the hype. But in Ganu, bro. Yeah. He's a big fan. you with your fists, Maddie. Yeah? This yeah. geezer is ridiculous. Yeah? Mm. He was working in a landmine for £1.50 uh, at the age of 10. You know what I mean? Like oh, digging shit. out the fucking land. Which the country? Geezer, Do you know which country? In the Cameroon. Oh, damn. Okay. In the Cameroon, yeah. Parents gone. Yeah. Um, geezer raised himself in a landmine. For one pound fifty a day or a week, well, I've read it down. No, one pound fifty a day Damn. from the age of ten. Yeah? From the age of ten. Fuck yeah, now. Grows up in the Cameroon. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. On his jays, thinks fuck this, I'm leaving. Yeah. Mm. Walks <laughs> three thousand miles. Theme can't make me laugh, man. My back it hurts when I laugh, man. I, when I cough and when I laugh, it makes me makes me fucking in pain. But yeah, sorry, he walks three thousand times, uh, three thousand miles to so somewhere like Algeria, Morocco. Wow, from the Cameroon, yeah. Bops. Imagine the bop. Bro. Oh man, I don't like His walking to the shops. Was a, rec was a known fighter. Oh shit! Okay. Everyone's looking at him, going like he's going to be tonking a fighter. Mm. Bare different gangs trying to associate. Bare different shit going on in in. Places that he was walking through in Africa. You know what I mean? So he was basically, he was the touch of Cameroon. <laughs> Everyone's so like, touch, you know, touch, touch, you know, touch. Yeah, I know about that. I know about that. Everyone yeah, knows in that. every crew, he's in every, every crew. crew. The is already Tonka's dick. Yeah? Yeah. His dad's a fighter. He's got yeah. no parents. He's wrestling whatever animal he comes across in Africa. <laughs> <Just> Hippos, <bruv. laughs> yeah. Bussing everyone up, bruv. What, bruv. Do you know how, how fucking dangerous it is? To be a youth, yeah. Imagine walk from fucking Cameroon to Algeria on your days. What? No tent, bro. I'm bopping. 
hitchhiking yes. and all this kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Insane. But if he gets there, the police catch him, or whichever authority catches him, takes him back to Senegal. Oh, so he's man. got no passport, no pay, no no possessions. Damn. In Senegal, because you've been arrested and to all your shit, like everything, nobody dumped in Senegal. It's got nobody there, bruv. <laughs> Jesus. Bosses up everyone there, bruv. Yeah. Gets bored of that, thinks, right, I'm going to bop again. Yeah. Goes again. Yeah. This is true, bruv. Yeah, yeah. Goes again. Mean. Goes to Morocco, Algeria, I can't remember. And um, get, gets n- nicked again. Jeez. Three oh. times, bruv, he does this. Mm. Three fucking times, bro. And each time he's nicked. Each time he's on his J's. And each time he gets done possessionless. You know what I mean? Mm-mm. Damn. Uh, want, then he gets some Senegalese papers or some shit somehow. And then he gets another... Now he can have another three attempts. Okay. The next three attempts, bro. <laughs> Void off. Nothing. Oh, shit. Yeah. The seventh attempt, bro. Wow. He makes it to Gibraltar. And then he gets in. When he gets to Europe or, or America, I don't know how he gets to America, but when he gets somewhere, someone says to him, bro, you need to go cage fighting. Mm. Like, you're ridiculous, bro. You're tonk as dick. <laughs> yeah. and, he, and, he, and he goes, it's like seven times, bro. Imagine walking, a, like tr- fucking doing that as, on your J's with nothing, with the nothing. Chance. Yeah. You go to fucking some gym. You live there. Of course he has to live in the gym. Mm-hmm. He's got no house. He's made it to America. When he gets to America, he has to live, has to rent a room in the gym, mm-hmm. but he pays no rent. He has to live there, bro. Shall I do? Shall I have a go at UFC? Yeah, I should. Wants to be a boxer. Goes into yeah. UFC. And he's been from since- everyone in these like two grand tournaments, two thousand pound for the winner. Man's got nothing, bro. He's traveled across yeah. Africa like seven times, bro. That's what do I'm you know saying. What two grand's gonna mean to him, bro. He mocks you, yeah. and he's tonker's dick. And like he you just said, takes over. Like you said at the start, like when it comes to fear and mind games and, you know, because like we say, 90%, 90% of it is mind games before you even get in the ring, you know what I mean? But for him, having lived that life, if anyone's sitting there going, oh, I'll, I'll kick your ass, I'll get, he's like... Who was it? Who bro. was it? Someone fought Mike Tyson at Mike Tyson's like scary peak yeah. and the geezer's mother had just died. Oh, shit. And he beat Tyson. And the and the everyone knew it was because the guy's mother had just died. It wasn't scared of everyone was scared of Tyson when he did the ring walk, mm-hmm. came to the ring and then looked like a fucking horrific. Yeah, because I'll eat your kids, man. I'll fucking you know yeah. what I mean. That's <laughs> why he had the black shorts. That's why he had the black sh- boots, yeah, black yeah. socks, black gloves. That's no, why he, was he a, did that. He was a fucking monster, man, for sure. Yeah. Um, but that yeah. geezer, because he didn't fear Tyson, because the worst thing that could have happened to him ever happened. Happened, yeah. And there then he go. fight Mike Tyson. He doesn't care. He felt he, he had Mike nothing Tyson. to lose. That's that's the kind of thing you need is is that that kind of mind state of you've got nothing to lose. You know what I mean? When you've, you've lost, lost everything, you're like, well, who exactly? We're talking yeah. about Mike Tyson. When you've lost everything, you're like, who the fuck is Mike Tyson? I don't give a fuck. I'll have to fight him. If I win this, I win this. You know what I mean? Exactly. So that's man. what Ngano was doing, bruv. Two grand tournaments, five grand tournaments, and they get bigger and bigger and bigger. Goes to the UFC, bruv, licks everyone. Damn. Everyone. Yeah. I need to watch some of his if highlights. If you get punched by Nganu, they think he might be the hardest hitting puncher on the planet, like in terms of all like, you know, Deontay Wilder, AJ, yeah. where, 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 he's up there. He's right up there. Jeez. And he fucking licks you down. And he's not coming from a place where there's like, you know, he's coming from events where there's hundreds of thousands of people watching. Mm. Hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands of people watching in American, like fucking American football stadiums and shit. And millions of people around the world. So he's not like, he's not praying of that. No. Nah. And I'm just thinking, shit, boy. This geezer. And I put my £1.65 pence on it. But that's the story <laughs> of Nganu. Like how fucking. That's it, why I thought that this geezer, he could beat anyone. Bruv, I watched the highlights and AJ fucked his shit up. AJ <laughs> comes in, bruv. Have you ever seen? He's swinging his chair Such around. a ridiculous. Killer smirking, bro. You, I, I watched the highlights. They were only two minutes long. The highlights. AJ, AJ, Anthony Joshua did boxing proud. Yeah. Anthony Joshua put an end to all this kind of. Oh, if you can cross over here, we can cross over there. They should bun all that now. Yeah, exactly. But wait, how old that, is Ngano? He's old though, isn't he? He's an old man. No, they're like two year difference. Oh, is it? Ah, okay. I didn't realize. I thought Ngano was like 
old now, but oh, okay. Right, yeah, you see, Ngannou has been punching people in the face and getting punched in the face. Mm-hmm. So you obviously know he's got like uh, defense from getting punched, holding up his gloves, trying to move them, but he's parrying every single punch away. Just little things like that, mm. keeping your elbows in. You can't really keep your elbows in amazing if you're allowed to throw kicks as well. You know what I mean? You, you would bring your elbow down. And all this kind of shit. In boxing, it's just boxing. So just those tiny, not tiny, those fundamental fucking things that your yeah. coach goes on about all the time, like from day zero when you're seven years old. You know yeah. what I mean? In boxing, this how you defend this. Yeah, in boxing. Solid, the because there's only a range of different punches that can come at you. Exactly. And AJ showed there that the dedication to those and the uh, learning of those actual boxing fundamentals. He just saw a little... And Gunnar was like that and he walked up towards him and then he just thought, no, that's not like really a boxing guard. I can definitely get through that and just... It was the right hand and it just yeah. linked it. But then he buckled... You know when they buckle their leg when they're falling backwards, when they get knocked out? That's that's why yeah, 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 I yeah, fucking yeah, hate yeah. seeing that shit, man. Like, ah, it fucking makes you me cringe. But yo, you mentioned uh, Mike Tyson because when you told me you wanted to talk about this, um, I thought, yo, we had to play this tune, man, because he knocked him out in the second round, right? Yeah, knocked him down once in the first round. Yeah, knocked him down again in the second round, and, yeah. and then the geezer yeah. got up, and AJ walked up to him like it was like some sort of London brawl, and all <laughs> shut up, my youth. So his second round Wait, knockout no. by Can I Bus. Tyson here speaking with the cannabis man yeah. over here. Yo, cannabis, your main objective out here is to do nothing but eat, 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 eat MCs for lunch, breakfast. Hey, man, they've been playing me all my life, man. You know, I won a title a couple of times, did right, but they can't hurt us, man. We're going to do it. Get up in this ring, man. Put on these gloves. Let me show you how to handle it. So I'm going to let the world know the truth. You don't want me to shine. You study my rhyme. Then you laser vocals at the mind. That's a bitch move. Something that a homo rapper would do. So when you see L.O. Cool J. You're only dropping clues. I studied your background. Read the book that you wrote. We searched your footnotes about how you used to sniff coke. Fronting like a drug free role model. You disgust me. I know bitches to see you smoke weed recently. You walk around showing off your body because it sells. Plus, to avoid the fact that you ain't got scales. Mad at me because I kicked that shit real, nigga. Spell. 199% of your fans wear high heels. From Ice T to Kumo D to Jay Z. Now you want to fuck with me? You must be crazy. You dripping with wax juice and you can't get it off. You better be prepared to finish what you start, nigga. You just hold it right there. We got another thing. I think, you know, now, come to think of it, I think we might have played that song already on the podcast. I think one of the first episodes. Can I right? bus, bro? Yeah. Used to be considered as a fucking... Used to be. Mm. Now, not even used to be before he got bodied by some rapper over here. Like yeah, some disaster. Like no, nah, an American, LA, disaster. We yeah, absolutely embarrassed him. Yeah, he Just pulled out the notebook. Fucking body bag. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it was he pulled jokes. out the notebook. <laughs> it was hilarious, man. It he was... used to be considered like one of the rappers who could actually rap. You know what I mean? Like, can... if you don't know about hip hop, you don't know about nothing about show me the... Oh, cannabis was incredible. I remember when he came to London and he went on Tim but Westwood's show. But he's obviously show. not. Well, no, he, he was uh, when it came to writing lyrics and doing battle rhymes on lyrics in, in, in that time, like 99, 2000, you know, late, late 90s, early 2000s. He was untouchable when it came to writing battle lyrics. But he would chat about how I'm going to battle you, I can battle you, I can fuck you up. And he used to do Ill, Ill lyrics, yeah? But he just couldn't freestyle, man, to save his... Like, that's what we found out in the battle, is that he couldn't freestyle and his writings were shit and he blatantly didn't even take time to prepare. Like, you know what I mean? He just fucking just took the money, you know what I'm saying? And he got embarrassed and he probably regrets it, man. Take the money, young run. And also, from the 90s to now, when it comes to battle rapping... It's just gone so, like, uh, you know, there's so many levels above now from what they were doing back then. And cannabis kind of just stayed on that level. So he was, at one point, he was the king. Even but disaster. Was, he was selling records. Yeah, exactly. But even Disaster, who beat him in the battle, he said, look, he was my inspiration starting battling. You know what I mean? Cannabis was the king. But then he fucking wiped the floor with him. What did he say? He said one lyric. He goes, it's like putting my own dog to sleep, man. <laughs> like, it's like, that was one of how the do you, uh, How do you remember this shit? That's good. Nah, That's great got, memory. You know, I got memory when it comes to useless information. <laughs> yeah. Now you got memory when it comes to hip hop. Hip hop, baby. Something sticks, some things don't, man. Mike Tyson is fighting uh, Jake Paul, bro. 
Yeah, but Mike Tyson is yeah, but it's for the money now. I don't. I hate that Jake Paul. It's guy. made me very it. upset, man. Very upset. Now nah, fuck it. Let Tyson get his payday. He's gonna get paid what twenty mil, maybe more. You know what I mean? Cool, man. It's fine, but he's gonna get like you know. I don't know. It's not gonna be a good fight. Yeah, he's fifty-eight years old. Bro. <laughs> exactly. He's still. Jake I mean, Paul he's still got it. There's like videos. 20, 28. There's still videos of him, of Tyson in the gym, hitting, hitting pads. the pads. He'll and be able to hit pads when he's like 80, but he's, yeah. the geezer's 28 years old, bruv. In it. Exactly. He's going to move much quicker. I, I really hope Tyson knocks him out, but I doubt it will happen. I just hate Jake Paul and this whole YouTuber kind of influencers becoming boxers. And Fine, if they box each other, killing all me. good. But... Killing me, bruv. He's fought, one, he's fought um, Tyson Fury's brother. I know. All I the other people. That. He's fought another geezer quite recently, actually. Who I think was a boxer, I think, but yeah. all the other people, yeah, just have been retired like UFC guys, retired, yeah, UFC guys, or dickheads. It's and, just uh, money making, man. Like, because boxing has always been about money making. Of course, the big fight, the money, like they call it, what is it, the, the money draw or whatever they call it. Like the people who are going to make money. Paul's making a shit ton of money from bear boxing. Ma- of course, bear money. Oh, so all of the fucking shit is his promotion. It's because he... They like, sold this one similar. to Netflix, bro. This is coming out on Netflix. I don't know if that I'm means not, it comes out for free on everyone's Netflix or what, but... I'm not surprised, but the thing is... It's just a, it's advertising, but it's he's very, very, very good at marketing. He, he's... Very Good. It's playing the heel, similar to Mayweather, man. Everyone wanted to see Mayweather get knocked out. That's why he drew that much money. So every time he had someone, they were like, oh, this time he's going to get knocked out, this time. And that's what built this hype and made it so uh, uh, very upset lucrative. Mike Tyson said yes. You know what I mean? Mike Tyson's doing well on that podcast. Yeah, but still. Be a dough put away. Imagine he's like, go, what? look, he's just got to not look like an idiot. Basically, which is, I don't know, you know what I mean? But he's going to get a massive, you know, massive paycheck. I don't blame Tyson for that, man. If they dangle, you know, 20 mil in front of him, 30 mil for it's one night's like work. Fucking annoyed. Mike Tyson is the exact sort of geezer you want to put in front of Jake Paul. That <laughs> I want to put in front of Jake The exact, but not a 57. Yeah, the young Mike Tyson, of course. But he wouldn't, Jake Paul wouldn't do that. He's not an idiot, you know what I mean? 19 knockouts, 19 years old, 19 wins, zero losses. That yeah. Mike Tyson. Yeah. But fuck me, it's so annoying that, some, that he said yes to that. They'll blatantly be clauses in the contract. You can't, you know, rare, rare this, rare, rare that. Isn't it? You can't go down, rare, rare. Like, there's no way. Well, I, maybe he's maybe Jake Paul's very confident that he's not going to get hit by Mike Tyson. I'm thinking if there's if there's a way Mike Tyson could hit him, then yeah, he could hit him. Yeah, yeah. But, well, let's see. I mean, you know, are you gonna are you gonna pay to watch? If you have to pay to watch it, would you pay to watch that fight, no, or would you just wait the next till day? You just yeah. read the news or see it on YouTube. Exactly. Uh, fuck uh, that dude, Jake Paul. I'm, I, I'm never going to pay to watch. Mike. It. I'll never pay to watch Jake Paul fight, man. Fuck that. I remember watching Frank Bruno versus. Mike Tyson mm. on a camping holiday in a fucking caravan, like an old, yeah. you know what I mean? It might have been late. No, it would have been early, I remember early, watching early 90s on one of them camping TVs. Oh, shit, on the small ones, the little... <laughs> yeah, in a caravan, like portable TV back then, you know what I mean? Aerial it's hilarious. Out, sick. But listen, we were chatting about the lady listeners earlier. We've lost them now completely. We called them butters, and then we just chatted <laughs> no, no, about no. boxing for the past. Everyone's butters. <laughs> Everyone's butters. I know. We're only joking, man. We love you, man. Um, but that leads me into someone sent in a question for us, man. Um, yeah, I and I this. urge I you, this. I urge everyone here, if you have a question for us or a query, any query about life. Anything you want to hear our opinions on something, or maybe you've got a problem you want us to solve it, we can solve it. We'll your solve problem. it. Doesn't we'll it, solve it, baby. Doesn't we'll even, solve that. Doesn't even With have, the love of doctors. 69, dude. <laughs> and we don't even no, no, have, now we've lost them again. Yeah. <laughs> and we don't it doesn't even have to be about graph, it can be about anything you want. Okay. Um uh, I want but, deep philosophical deep, deep questions. Um so this is a, a young lady listener. Uh, sent this in. I'm not going to uh, say who it is. She didn't, yeah, don't she didn't give specify. Any details, yeah, she didn't yeah. specify, so I won't. You know what I mean? And I, that's another. I thing. haven't heard this. I haven't heard this. Mm. But wait, it's the first time I'm hearing it. Theme is going to react to this live now. Uh, but another thing I wanted to add, please, I want you guys to send in voice notes. Yeah, we're not going to bait up who you are, who sent it in, but we want to play them so we're not reading it out. So you know, you can t- let us know. Anyway, let's go into this by. 
mademoiselle. Right. Okay. Amazing. I've woken up. I'm, I'm back. So I basically don't have a question because I don't want to air my troubles to the world because I've got too many troubles. Fair but enough. I do have a bad date story and I want to know what your worst dates are <laughs> or worst like uh... any funny bad date stories because I've got loads and it's lols. So I met this guy it's once lols. and I was really drunk when <laughs> I, I met that. him and I thought he seemed really hot and he had the same name as me, Al, and the same birthday on the 3rd of Jan. And I was like, all oh, the moons have aligned, it's meant to be. Then I went and met him. Turns out he was so far back in the closet, he was in Narnia, as gay as the day is long, but <laughs> oh, clearly shit. in denial. The whole date was super awkward. So I started drinking shit loads of wine, like shit loads, because he took me to this really fancy restaurant. And we were on this table that was like on a step above some of the other tables. And it was like proper. It had like a white tablecloth on it and all this stuff. And I was so drunk. I was like, I need to go to the bathroom. Stood up, somehow got tangled in the tablecloth, pulled the whole tablecloth off, fell down the step. All the food, all the drinks just fell completely <laughs> on me. Then we basically got kicked out of the restaurant and he had to pay for the whole meal because it was too expensive for me to afford it. And yeah, I never heard from him again. Damn. But tell me what yours was. And also, anyway, that guy was punching, mate. He was punching. <laughs> okay, yo, thank you punching, for sending that bro. in. He was punching. It sounds like he was punching. Well, he's gay, apparently. Punching <laughs> someone's butty, Chris. Yeah. I like that she, he was so deep in the closet, he was in Narnia. Like, I've never heard Narnia. that. That's jokes. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, but big up for sending that in. So bad date stories. Because that, yeah. That so was... she got pissed off. She. I think we should talk about hers for a bit. Yeah, go on. She got pissed off. Not pissed off, but she just realised that he was fucking gay. Yeah. She's like, well, what the, why the fuck am I even here? You know what I mean? Wouldn't you be thinking that? Like, yeah, what the yeah. fuck? Why are we this really posh restaurant, really nice restaurant, Isn't and it? you're blatantly, like, gay? Well, I would do so, what she did, man. Just drink, man. Fuck it. Just yeah. have some free drinks. So you would assume yeah. that, oh, well, well, fine, then we're just here as brethren, so I'm just going to get licked. Right, waiter, and then get licked. <laughs> exactly. That's what I would do as well. I would do exactly the same thing. But he was trying to impress her. He took her to a nice place. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's weird. Because you're like, well, why are we here? We're not trying to get the nani. I mean, you know you're punching, bruv. (laughs) So we know there's a slight element of you trying to get the nani. You know what I mean? 100%. It must be, yeah. (laughs) Because you know you're punching. So you're thinking, bruv, if you get this hot girl's nani. I'm going to take to this posh restaurant. It's going to be the lick. You know what I mean? It's going to be the nuts. <laughs> she gets there. She's like, this geezer's flagrant. It's not happening, bro. Isn't it? Oh, man. Yeah. Then she's she, what? And then she, she like, so she, she yeah, she had it. Never like, heard ca- from him again. Caught up in her dress or whatever. She got up to go to the toilet and pulled everything off the fucking table, went everywhere, went all over it in this nice, well, hoity-toity place. And he had to pay for the whole thing and she never saw him again. Bounce. Bounced. Listen, love. But that's one of those things. Again, anyway, he was punching in the first place. It's embarrassing when it happens, but as you can tell, you know, obviously you look back on it and it's just funny. You know what I mean? No one got hurt. You know what I mean? Maybe his wallet a little bit for the for, for the for the meal or whatever, and the and the damage done maybe. But it's all good though, man. Yeah, I'll tell you one story. When I went on a date, yeah, uh, through Tinder, yeah, many many years ago. I've never been on any one of these apps. I hate them now. I don't use any of them, um, but. I just use my charming self. I, I walk up to He's women like, in the street and I'm like, start negging now. I'm just habibi, kidding. I don't habibi, do that. Habibi, habibi, yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, kidding. Habibi. I don't do that. Habibi, yalla, 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 habibi. But, um, fucking, yeah. So that is, sorry, Tinder. sorry, sorry. But that is so joke in France. You've been in France and the way like the rude boy stand on the corner yeah. and try and get birds' attention. Oh! <laughs> what, like they're getting <laughs> a cat, <laughs> like a cat. Oh! They do! Yeah. Like a cat. Joke. Oh, 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 oh. Like, fuck it out. You're like, boys, this is really not going to work. Bro. Like, there's it? no way <laughs> any bird's going to stop. Oh, yeah, hello. Um, but so I'm on Tinder you're, you're swiping away. Sorry. I'm swiping yeah, away swiping on Tinder. The, yeah. Quite a hot girl. But you know how sometimes they, they, they frame their pictures so you can't really get like a proper view of what's going on. And to be honest, what I would do on Tinder, I know this probably sounds bad, but whatever, I don't give a shit. I used to just not even look at the pictures. I used to swipe right, 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 right. Because I got hardly any matches ever. Yeah. I've they're... seen blokes doing that, just sitting there going like that. I just go right, right, right. And if one matches, like, yeah, then cool. I'll engage. I'm not going to sit there and look her through all their pictures and like she's just not going to match me anyway. Make sure you read my profile profile before yeah. you contact me yeah <laughs> exactly i promise i don't talk this much in person lols so boom i link up with this chick and um 
uh, we message a little bit on, you know, on the Tinder. Then I get a number, I give her a call and I'm like, let's meet, let's go for dinner, you know, tomorrow. No, for drinks. I go, I'll meet in Soho after work. I think it was a Thursday night. Um, let's go meet up. We'll go to a bar. I know a nice bar in, in Soho. Yeah. So this is the first day. First day. Now I meet her and she, you know, she's wearing this big jacket, beautiful face, you know, nice long hair. She's wearing this big jacket because it was quite cold. I remember this was in winter time. Yeah. Meet her outside the station. It's dark now as well. It's like, it's nighttime. I get, you know, a little kiss on the cheek. Hey, you know, we exchange pleasantries and I go, yeah, let's go. So we walk down Soho to this bar. I know it's like down in this cellar. Well, no, 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 no. Where's she from? Australia. And that's another thing I didn't realize. I didn't know she was from Australia until I met her. And she had a mad, thick my. Australian accent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my. I'm not too into it. I'm not too into it. But it was the my last my. thing I was expecting. I had no idea she was Australian. Uh, was she really nasal? Yeah, uh, a little or, bit like that. Or was she like more from the fucking... Nah, program? nasal as fuck, man. Oh, my, no, why? <laughs> no. But um, anyway, so we start oh, walking. Well, how old was she? I can't remember. I think we were both in our early 30s or late 20s. She I can't remember. Australia. This was a while ago, yeah. Um, and then anyway, so we're walking to the bar now. And, you know, we're chatting while we're walking. And, you know, the, you know, the usual oh, chat. Oh, what do you do? Where do you work? Where have you, what have you been up to? You know what I mean? So like, I was like, you know, I work in events, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, where, where do you work? And she goes, I work in cosmetics, is what she said. And I thought, when she said that, I thought, makeup. Oh, she does makeup and stuff, yeah? So I'm like, oh, cool. And then the conversation goes into, because she said cosmetics, for some reason, I'd stirred the convers- steered the conversation towards plastic surgery, yeah? And you I want to talk about bats? No, I started gunning you plastic dirty, surgery. Man. No, I started gunning plastic surgery, going, oh, so they just fucking prey on people's weaknesses and insecurities, and you know, like people should just what, thinking know, that this is, might be what she'd like to hear. No, I was just going off on one, just on my high horse, talking about like plastic surgery and shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like uh, like going, oh, people should embrace their natural beauty. It gives them character. Everyone look the same with both. And I was just going off on one about plastic surgery. Yeah properly going up <laughs> yeah going off on one and then we get to the bar now and then i see her in the light and she's had her fucking lips done she's had her cheeks done she's and then she takes her jacket off she'd had her boobs done Bats done everything and i was like ah, oh. because she stayed quiet throughout that whole bit i was just going on a tirade about anti-plastic <laughs> surgery shit. she must have felt so shit man like and i she instantly... stayed with you not like, doing the date she came well she's not australian i don't think she cared that much she couldn't have because she came on the day she stayed she didn't turn around and go fuck you then and bop off which i probably would have done if i was there because i was going off on one and then we go down in the bar and i was like oh i didn't say anything but obviously in my head i'm like fuck man i must have I've just <laughs> been gunning her for just like 20... gunning her looks without even knowing you know and but I was what, like, when, the, when you bopped into the light, how did you instantly know? Just when we sat down. It wasn't even to, when we bopped in the light. We sat down. I'm sat opposite her. The light is on us, you know. And now, you're properly and now I'm looking and at her. Observing and when appreciating lineage. Yeah, you're cause, like, hang on, this lineage yeah. has been hand handmade. Because when we're walking, we're side by side. I'm not staring at her like this, walking. I'm looking at, you know, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. kind of, you know, so I'm not looking, staring at her, you know what I mean? Which I'm, no, but you seemed quite uh, adapt at, Seeing she had cheeks done, she had well, what once, was it, was, top, what you, lips done. She didn't look like she done. didn't look like Madonna now. You know what I mean? So it wasn't that obvious. But then once I was yeah. in the light, I realized I was like, oh shit. And then knowing she works in a cosmetics, that's what she meant. You know what I mean? And I just like in my head, I was just going, fuck, man. And like, I, I, and it wasn't even about me. Uh, I just, you know, I must have made her feel really fucking shitty or something. You know, that's what was going through my head. So that's why I was like, just spent the rest of the date digging myself out of this hole. Uh, and then, you know what I said about plastic surgery? Yeah. Well, if you need it, yeah, then it's absolutely fine. It's actually something oh. quite medically advanced, so we should use it because. <laughs> I must have said some shit like that, like something, like just to get out of it, you know, like to... if you're not, if a person's not happy with their body, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you right now, yeah. After four <laughs> pints, they should have, they should have the right to change it, and so they, they you know, body, yeah. they feel body positive. You know yeah. what I mean? Or like, who am I? Like, I'm down with that. Like, who am I to yeah. judge someone's exactly. like, you know, what I mean, their body or what they want to wear or look like, you know, what they want to eat, the fat cunt. I mean, no, you know. What I mean? Yeah. So, so yeah. So I spend the rest of the day, yeah, trying to dig myself, and and I got a little kiss at the end. So. I must have done all right. But did you ride the Panani driver no. with the No. Ah! No. No. No, she we... was like, mate, listen. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, you mate. fucking pong. <laughs> yeah. 
You don't know what I look like after that fucking shark attack, mate. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry. sorry. (laughs) Yellow, yellow, my house. I mean, you know what? Like, you know, she was a laugh though. And I I did want a second date, but yeah, it just, it didn't happen, man. Um, Did you give her a route? I used to live in Australia. (laughs) Give her a route, I used to live in Australia, bird who was on Neighbours. Oh, yeah. And her brethren and me. Yeah. And they both had boyfriends and one of the fucking boyfriends was like, did you give her a route, mate? Yeah. <laughs> say, did I warp? <laughs> or did I warp? A did route. you give her a good route? <laughs> did I root her yeah. into the, like, rooted her into the ground? Oh my bro. God. Like, yeah, good. mate. Gotta give her a fucking route. I've been on worse dates as well, but I can't, none can really come to mind right now, man. Uh, but that one did. Uh, do you have any bad dates? You've been on a bad date? Well, what's up? Oh, Can you I think, think mate, have I been on a bad fucking date? <laughs> I bet. Fuck me, I must have been on about 85 billion, bro. Yeah. Just thinking about what we were like when we were younger. Mm. Oh, man, yeah. Think, fuck me. Bad dates. But I, you know I what? had one of those a bit like what you said when you saw them in the light. When I went to some club <laughs> yeah. and I was lips in this girl and we swapped numbers and I said, yeah, let's think up. Thought she was hot. Yeah, well, it turned out to be in Ghana. <laughs> no, yeah, like, yeah. I've got another story about that. Actually, Fuck, <laughs> now stick with one story. Come on, man. I got about. Maybe I can get five quick five stories out. I don't <laughs> oh. know. And anyway, I thought she was quite hot. Swap numbers and that. Very, very, and she wanted to do like some proper fucking. Uh, she was like a st- foreign student come here. She was like Italian or something. She pr- wanted to go to one of the museums and mm. uh, and I got this text like, what the fuck. I'm not in my twenties, you know what I mean? I'm just waiting to ride the Panani, that's it. Yeah. You know what I mean? What, what, go to the fuck it. And I was doing art at uni and fucking everything. I've been to these museums a billion times. Anyway, I said, yeah. Linked went to go and link her. And I think it was the fucking V and A. There's two like a couple of steps outside, really long sit. I'm just I'm sitting on these steps and this bird arrives yeah. and just starts standing next to me, yeah. And I'm like, looking at her and she goes, hi. And I'm like, immediately thinking, oh, shit. Like, this is, this, back then you were shallow, you know what I mean? I could do yeah, yeah, of course. Then. Yeah, hell yeah. And I'm thinking, this girl is fucking buttered. Like, <laughs> oh, what no. the fuck? <laughs> and I've agreed to go on this date. And I'm not a cunt. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Yeah. But it turns out I was a cunt. I fucking went, I was, I was thinking... You know, I mean, I've done know, There's something about the museum as well. I've been here a billion times. I've drawn fucking every single Malaysian helmet that there yeah, fucking yeah, is. Yeah. I, mean, I don't give a fucking shit. And uh, she's going around. This no, I love the, the VNA. Museum. I love the VNA personally. But yeah, go on. I did the old. I'm going for a piss. No. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going, I said, I'm going for a piss. Uh, we don't. We hadn't been in there long. You know what I mean? It was like 15, 20 minutes. And I said, like, I'm going for a piss. No, you and, didn't. Uh, she's man. like, yeah, me, you here? And I was like, yeah. yeah. No. Okay, that's not a bad date for you. That's a bad date for her, no, bro. Thing to do. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. I don't know how long she stayed and we looked around. I was like, you. Oh, that is. is what <laughs> oh, <my laughs> bro. Like, what the fuck? You're a <laughs> proper cunt, man. You're a evil cunt. Cu- there's this another bird. I think I can't. If, man, if I described her, which I won't do. Yeah, that's not fair. No, of course. Uh, you'd know who she is. Maybe you know who she is. Like, oh no! And she was around on the scene in like the Raven Pub. You know when people were going to oh, the yeah, Raven yeah. Pub outside Stanford Bridge. Say her name. Anyway, I'll yeah. bleep it out. No, I don't I'll... know her name. I can't remember. Oh, okay. that's it. I can't remember. She was kind of in the crew as well. Oh wow! Okay, dark. I can't but she remember. might even She's... be watching. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, <I don't. laughs> anyway, yeah. no, this looks bad on me. Oh yeah. Uh, she was blatantly on me, you know what I mean? After yeah, like a yeah. couple of Fridays at the pub, you're thinking, oh yeah, she's the same bird who keeps coming up to me, like she's blatantly on it, Charlie. Like, next time, yeah? Yeah. And uh, ended up linking her. Went to her house, just me and her, straight after the pub. Boss, she lived like very, very close. Okay, so this is another separate one, yeah? Okay, yeah, go on. Sorry, I yeah, yeah, yeah. linked them up. No, no yeah. separate chick. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but I seen her, she was kind of cool. But no. I won't say what I didn't like about her because it's too harsh. Yeah? But you know, I mean, I was—that's how I was back then. Yeah. Properly, like, <laughs> like you know, if how I think you don't do anything where I don't, I'm not sure about it. I'm like, no. Nah. 
But um, wait, that's another thing. Yeah, like like you're saying, man. When we're young, especially men, when they I don't know about women, maybe they can let us know. No, hundred percent, dirty men, little man. Yeah, like where like if it isn't perfect, then you're like nah. You know what I mean? It's like the acne or something. Any like little. Do you remember thing? birds back in the day? Remember when you yeah. get kids get spots? Yeah. Do you remember back in the day? There was birds that were bang, and you were like, oh, I wish she didn't have acne, but she, yeah. she was hot as thick. Yeah. You know I mean? And the thing is, we didn't look inwards as well. Like, I, you know, we're not perfect either yeah. at all. You know, standing what I'm saying? <laughs> like a skinny toothpick yeah. in these mad, over arms, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, look at her. Yeah, she's fucking fat. <laughs> exactly. Like, what are you talking about, you fucking pussy? Uh, you can't even get so like cigarettes when you're 18. Yeah, they, oh, man. Yeah. Crazy. Back in the day, you had to be 50, you know, then 60, still couldn't get so fucking bad. So your idea of a bad day is just... Anyway, boring. yeah, I went to her house, went up to her house. Yeah. yeah. She started getting on it, do you know what I mean? She's only human, bro. <laughs> and I'm thinking, yo, this girl's getting on it. Mm. And we proceed to bang, yeah? And within like 30 seconds, I'm going to bust. Oh, shit. I'm thinking, I can't be doing that. Yeah, 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 you can. But like, it might have been less than that. Start thinking, oh, my grandma naked, my grandma naked. (laughs) (laughs) Some fucked up shit. But what I did instead, I just kept, I was continuing the the bang. Yeah. And I just, and I really tried, like, use like internal muscles to try and stop the ejaculate. (laughs) (laughs) But I did it. And uh, obviously it must have come a bit or not come a bit. I was like, <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Just yeah. from internal, like, but it was like a h- horrible thing to do. Like, oh, never, no. never. You're going to injure you, yourself. Obviously you would never. Anyway, that night when I was, when I was leaving her house, I have a bicycle outside. I got on my bike and by the t- I'm rough, by the 20 seconds down the road, my, I was in fucking agony oh my god so painful i was thinking about calling my dad like whatever i shouldn't have done that shouldn't have tried to like in force the come to stay inside <laughs> oh my god like, fucking fucked yeah, like they say like i needed like the biggest piss on the earth but like my dick was burning but like the insides you know when your balls like go up in in t- you can feel your ball and like, when it's yeah. cold outside or something you're playing so- you don't even play football outside you know what it probably was but your balls that's what your balls do they get in and out you can feel yeah. like internal pains it was blatant. as if you're a bird with like ovaries and eggs and stuff like that and I'm like yeah and, and, I, and it, I got off the bike and it was a bit better I got back on the bike tried to cycle up like oh, seriously bro another just 10 metres like, sort of 10 metres oh, I think I'm like dying in fucking pain on my days, like lying on the pavement, oh, like, shit. Like, put my bike down, you know what I mean? So like Stanford Brook, Chiswick, Cairo Road bit, goes into Hammersmith, I'm like, <laughs> ah! like screaming, yeah? Jesus. thinking I can't get home. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. There's no you one can't I can't walk. Up. Yeah, you can't, yeah, I can't do anything. I was in so much fucking pain. Yeah? Jesus. I never saw that bird again. <laughs> 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 it was her fault. But I was like, bruv. Lying on the street. Oh my god! You know what I mean? Like two, 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 sort of thirty in the morning. So it's been like pub last orders, gone back to hers, yeah, leaving, yeah, yeah, getting, yeah. like that kind of time. Just dying, can't get home. Did so you have so what on the floor? The pain. You did. You have. You should have had a so scared. Had a quick it's in your dick, and it's like fucking burnt. I didn't know whether to have a beat or not. Yeah, have a quick like, wank on, on the pavement. <laughs> Not at that time, but like, like it lasted for a long time. Like days later, oh, I was like, man, man, if I have a beat now, maybe it will like relieve some yeah. kind of some kind of like fucking in, like, internal, external burning, like everything. Oh man, everything. Oh mate, maybe maybe it was, mate, <laughs> bro. I'm not a doctor, yeah, but maybe it was your prostate or something like got inflamed or, it was or internal or, combustion. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. And then you sat on the bike pedal. A thing, not pedal the bike seat. No, it wasn't just. No, it wasn't nothing to do with the bike. It was just like when I was right, I'm going oh. home now and start moving. Like yo. Oh shit, man. So yo, I'm kids, if it. you're gonna prematurely ejaculate, just go for it, man. Just let it go. You know, Don't hold to, it. You Don't hold it. Jizz. You have to fucking. Jizz. She will understand. Just, just, just bust the lyric. Just go, yo, man. You're so beautiful that I couldn't hold it in. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just bust the lyric. I like yeah. you so much. Yeah. Like that. You know what I mean? I've been waiting for this for ages. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> give me ten minutes. I'll be back again, man. Give me ten minutes. Man. <laughs> Do you remember those days? <laughs> give me ten minutes. Give me ten days. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jeez, Louise, man. All right, you know, look, so, yeah, okay. enough, enough, uh, sorry, <laughs> yeah, okay. enough, sorry, yeah, okay. enough, enough of the themes, fucking. No, but that's a great idea. Big up that that lovely lady for sending that in. That's Thank fucking you. brilliant to do. We should do more of those. People, if you got anything to say, anything to say. Oh shit! Could be questions, queries, anything. Get I got another one. Nice joke. I got another one because I posted on Instagram stories. I said, um, um, "Yeah, uh, I, I asked. I asked everyone to send in your craziest story that happened when you were out doing graph." Yeah. So and and we got a couple in. Oh, some of those are those. But I want to play this. But the thing is, I haven't got it prepared. Uh, shall I just save it for next week? Because I can play it through the mic now. You'll be able to hear it. Yeah, yeah, play it, play it while the missus goes to the toilet. Let me play it. Let thank me play you for the, it. Thank you. All right, check it out. First one that springs to mind, uh, doing track sides in East London somewhere. Finish my dub. I'm waiting around for my house to finish. I look up and the flat overlooking us, one of them, the blinds are wide open. There's some geezer there railing two birds. I think one was sitting on his face. The other one was riding him like a roller coaster. <laughs> Tamar and tongs. Hell for leather, loving his life. And it was at that point I started to question my own life, to be honest, and uh, my choice of hobbies. But anyway, the dub came out all right. So, you know, that's a kind of win. All right, there we You're go. You're fucking man. trackside <laughs> on some dirty... You know, it's always fucking Rankerton on trackside, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Rankerton. You look it up, some geese is having his face sat on, getting a blos from the other bird. Oh, my and God. And you finish your dub as well. You're waiting for your major stand and the trackside. And what the fuck is this? What's this guy on with life? <laughs> and it, what am I doing, man? Oh, man, I've seen some crazy shit through people's windows, man. But maybe we save it for, for a proper one. We'd, we'd do... Uh proper one because we've gone over an hour now man so uh i reckon we wrap it up because it's tuesday night this has got to be out by midnight tonight for everyone on spotify oh, and apple yeah. and it'll be on youtube on wednesday like every wednesday man you know how we do party people it's arms house to arms your house mom's to house, house. Mom's house. To your mom's house. Son of a bitch. So, yo, send us in. The email is below if you want to send it on an email. You can DM us a voice note on Instagram or however you want to do it. Just get it done and we will. Well, that's 100%. you got to do that. That's fucking brilliant. Yeah, man. Let us know. That's fucking brilliant. Any, anything like that. Anything like that for us to react to. Anything, man. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And th shit. Theme, did you watch that movie, Star? No, I still haven't seen it. I asked you politely to find like, time. I know who's in it now. Find yeah, yeah, time yeah. To, to, to... What do you mean find time, bro? <laughs> We're doing this Tuesday. Oh, maybe I could have done it Sunday, yeah. I'm just saying. Uh, maybe... You said it's on YouTube. E... Yeah, yes. I've got, I put the YouTube. link in yeah, the last yeah, yeah, yeah. episode. It's yeah, yeah. in the link, so you can just click the link and check it out. But but then someone who from heard it from the last episode said that they watched it and thought it was a cool film. But then they said, do you know there's been a graffiti porn movie made? by these oh, writers oh, it's on Pornhub yeah it's Leo Lulu L-E-O-L-U-L-U -L -L and they go in a train yard with this she's quite hot man I I, I think she's quite hotty man the porn channel is him and his, him and that bird it's him and his yeah and he must be a writer obviously he doesn't put his tag in like you know but they're on they're in the yard train yard bopping through it's really high quality video filming I think it's in Athens or it might be in Italy I don't know it's definitely not in England it's definitely something like that Athens and, or Italy, yeah. and they're just straight walking out in the in the <laughs> in the in the train greek. Yard. it is greek no maybe greek yeah it could be greek yeah i, I fuck knows man I, I didn't watch it for that long man i didn't beat to it squirting all over the floor in the train yard bro. he squirts in it as well which is you know okay. that's my jam you know what i mean <laughs> 69 <laughs> hey, dudes if you can get maddie a nice brazilian who squirts all over the place yeah come on man fucking hook me up your life Hook me up, son. We have listeners who listen to this podcast in Singapore, in in Ireland, in Australia, in obviously in England, um, but none in Brazil, man. What's up with that? Come on, Brazil. Get with the program. Man. Sitting next to a girl from Brazil on the train today. Do you know what happened to me today? Got on the train today, <laughs> went to sit down, and this bird had an umbrella sticking out of a handbag like that. So it kind of hit me as I sat down, and she was like, oh, I'm sorry. And I instantly clocked who it was. And I said, no, oh, I don't want to do like the whole... I've met this bird like twice oh. at Andrea's cousin's house. Ah, okay. Alba's house. You know Alma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Met her there twice. And she was there quite recently at a party, like November or something, do you know what I mean? Wow. 
and she's Brazilian. And I remember, I remember thinking of uh, the Venezuelan rules that I'm not allowed to talk to Brazilian. <laughs> oh, to yeah, of here, course, yeah. Yeah. That's going to be my excuse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but this one, I could have been like, yo, do you remember me? We were chatting at that party. She would have been like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I hate that when you run into people on the train <laughs> and you just want to listen to your fucking headphones and just chill. But then you see someone where you don't know them, where you're like, oh, yo, like you really like them and you want to chat to them. It's someone you know where... If you do, that, if I've they met do her twice, if they you do, both have to be like, oh, yeah, all right, where well, you go? It just so happened I sat next to, <laughs> sat next to her. Uh, she I didn't know, notice I'm you. Gonna not, I'm not going to say shit. No, I had what? beanie, headphones, book. Yeah. I've I'm done that. 90 when I'm coming back. I've done that where 90. I've even noticed that they've seen me and they're trying to make eye contact and I'm like, can see them in my peripheral and I'm like, just don't look over there and I can get through this journey <laughs> without A geezer did that to me the other day. There's a geezer at work who doesn't want to go home with anyone. He doesn't He doesn't want to do any of that chat. Yeah, yeah. Like that. It's quite dope. This geezer's quite dope. I should talk about it more. But he, I was standing on the platform at Parsons just wait, waiting for the train. Mm. And he comes up to me like here where the mic is, bro. He's tall. He's like a tall geezer. Just looks at me like that and just, goes, and just bops off. We we were like, <laughs> sit well close to each other. Yeah. He's like, no, I'm not. I'm not happening, bro. It's yeah, and he happen. wasn't doing it like, oh, maybe he doesn't sit like he just. He's like, yeah. I'd rate him for that. I'd rate him for <laughs> that. Yeah, and I rated <laughs> him because I was like, oh, thank God for that. Mate. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to go home with you either, bro. I rated him so much for that. Oh man. Listen, I'm going to say to him, like, you blatantly saw me. Let's go, man. Let's go. Party people, peace and love, man. Episode 69, Arms House to Mom's House, in the bag. You wanted to go out on a song, though. Did, did, what song? It's called it? Shoot You Shoot. by Sizzler. Sizzler. This arms house we have for shoot Wait, you. He's, shoot you. He's not talking about shooting gay people, is he? No. Okay, he's talking good. about like, anyone dissing on a mic and they're going to shoot you. Oh, okay. That's all right, then. That's all right. <laughs> Peace, five people, we out. People, I want to send some love to Miss Lady Faze. Miss Lady Faze! <laughs> Salute, man. She loves the pod. She's a big supporter. And she even uses it with her teaching of some sort. She, she mentioned that to us. Oh, so yeah. She's the biggest fucking gangster bird on earth. Bro. She's a gangster for sure, man. Uh, much love. And she wanted to say... Uh, she wanted us to big up the lyrically lifted crew at the Bristol Drugs Project. The BDP. I'm lyrically lifted, bro. Yeah, boy. Salute. I'm gonna lift you up lyrically. Ah. Uh, can't see we. Peace, bye, people. Do you think I need to go and paint that yellow BR, bro? <laughs> <laughs>